Hello and welcome to another episode of, well, the latest tutorial as of today for My Summer Car, July 19th, 2021. So this will be an update just to uh, make sure everything's all still the same and to make it the latest one. And um, yeah, so let's we'll see if we still got it, alright? But um, as of the comment on the last tutorial... Um, I make tutorials, not box office hits, alright? So if you don't like the editing of my tutorials, don't watch them. You know, find a, find another one, alright? You don't need to leave a comment and then delete it, because I can still see it, you douchebag. Alright, but with that said, let's get on with the tutorial. So, what do we need? We need to go to the shops, you need to get yourself a brand new battery, a oil filter, some spark plugs, an alternator belt, two light bulbs, some oil, Clutch brake fluid and some petrol gasoline. Um, I've got a list of everything that we need. Uh, we'll talk through the map, the locations, and everything. We're not going to go out and get it because we've got to try and save time on the video. Um, yeah, so we've got all our screenshots, which you'll see in a sec. All right, so we're going to go and get our marker quick. Uh, that'll do. So we are here. Let's make that a bit thicker. So yeah, we're in this location here, All right? So first things first, we're going to go to the mechanic shop. So you're going to drive all the way down your road, all the way up to here, and then we would take a left, follow it all the way around. Yep, and then we take another left, and we'll follow it all the way around until you end up at this location. This is where the repair shop is. It looks like this. And here is where you will get your tyres done if you decide to go with the GT rims, okay? So from there, we will then go another left to this location, the Haunted Mansion. Where you can use the, if you're in a tractor, right, you can use the fork to just drive into the doors and knock them down. And you will find the original tyres that used to be in the garage that actually have tyres on them. Yeah, so you can still drive around your car. You're going to have to get them changed eventually to in order to pass inspection. Alright, I made a mistake, as you will find out at the end of the video. There's obviously just missed some misleading information on the internet. Alright, and then, so this is where you'll find the wheels with tyres. So at least you can be driving around your car until you want to go and get inspection and have it registered and all that stuff. Right. so once you've got them loaded into the tractor, you will then continue down this road all the way over to here and this is where the tires are you can see the shed looks like this i mean the gt rims not tires and in the shed will be the gt rims and yeah you can just load them in and if you decide to you can take them all the way back to Fataris and get some tires on them and then from there you can continue down this road all the way into town and the shops is right at the end of the road here. This is where you will get your alternator belt, spark plugs, light bulbs, oil, uh, engine coolant, clutch brake fluid, and oil filter, and your gasoline. All right, so once you've got all of that and you've got everything you need, you can then go all the way back home just follow the same path back or you can just go all the way around here and I have another video linked in the description which will explain where all the GT parts are in if you don't know where they are already okay so back to the tutorial and now back to the game we're gonna start off with the uh, engine today something a bit different um, everything you need you can get a ratchet set from this magazine along with any other part apart from don't bother getting performance parts just yet because you won't pass inspection, and we want to pass inspection, alright? So, 
I'm going to start by grabbing the block. We'll put it over here. Get rid of this. We don't need that just to, just yet. Uh, we're going to want the head gasket. So if you chuck that on. You're then going to want the engine plate. There we go. And we'll chuck that on there. Right. There you go. You've just done the two easiest parts. So now we want the crankshaft. Which is not that. It's this one down here. Perfect. So we go and chuck the crankshaft on. And then we want to get the main bearings. So number three goes this end. You might not get the tick, but it does go there. Alright, so don't worry about that cross. Then after that you fix the game and it all works. And these are a size 9. So you can grab it either at the spanner set or the ratchet set. Alright, so just get this open. Switch to tool mode, which is key number 2. No, that's a number two. I want a number nine. There we go. Right. Push F and switch to Titan mode. And away you go. Six bolts. Get them done up nicely. Make sure that you don't be, don't be ashamed to go over them and just double check that they're tight. Because if they're not, you're going to have a problem later on. Alright. Then uh, we want the camshaft. It does go in there somewhere. There we go. I believe that's a size 5. So let's go grab that. And yep, two bolts at the end there. One, two. And then we will get our pistons. So we start from inside the engine and work our way out, and then up to the top. So number one, number two. Number three. If you have problems with them going in, sometimes the game does bug out. So just go save, exit, and load back in, and it'll all work perfectly fine. All right. It's it's not you. It's the game. It does it sometimes. All right. And then you want a size seven. Uh, there we are. Size seven. Get that done up. So now you have eight bolts. So we get them nice and tight. There we go. Right, and then from there, I think that's the inside of the car done, so we can get the oil pan. There we go, lovely. Also, a size 7, four bolts all round, and then a size 13 for the plug. If we don't do that up, You'll be wasting your oil and it'll just be pouring out the other, the underneath when you've got the engine inside. Alright, so don't forget that bolt. So get these done up. That's it, then a size 13. Best way to remember is it's the same size bolt as it is for the wheels. Speaking of the wheels, there's two sets you can get. You've got the GT rims, which come without tyres which is going to cost you more money to get tyres and then you've got the ones in the Haunted Mansion in the attic which come with tyres and there's a 50% chance of uh, you pass an inspection providing the tyre wear is good alright so the choice is yours but what do we want now we'll have the uh, we think we've got to put all the gearbox stuff on so if we turn we've got to grab it by the block oh we had it there we go, just turn it around. That's it. And then we want to put uh, this together. I think it goes what, like that. There we go. Right, so if we put the. Um, that's the camshaft gear. We want this on first. There we go. I think this is a size 6. Can't remember. But the. Uh, Bolt sizes will be up on screen. If it's not that, size 7. Or size 8. That's size 7. There we go. I was going to write all the bolt sizes down, but getting the game set up and everything needed took an hour on its own. So, you know, I've got to put all the parts out there ready to go. 
and all that stuff. So it's just quicker to just do it this way. It's just a guessing game. Right, there we go. Then we put this on. I think I'm doing it right. I haven't done the tutorial in a while. That's a size 6. There we go. So get these bolts done up. I think it's six bolts. And then, providing you got all of that done, if we just grab the block again, turn it around, camshaft, blah, blah, blah. All this is the other side. So we now want the old uh, gearbox. So just grab that, chuck it on. Get that tightened up. Well, not just yet. You've got to grab one more thing, which is the uh, inspection cover. There we go. So grab that, put that on top there. And now we can do it up. So what we got? Size 7, is it? Do these ones up? Yep. Yeah. So you've got 6 bolts here. And then a sneaky number 10 at the side. Which is there. So there we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Crouch down. Number 6. There we go. And then grab yourselves a number 10. And up we get and grab that one. There we go. Lovely jubbly. And then you want to grab your drive gear, which is there. There we go. Perfect. Try and do this as best as possible. You know, I only do these to help you guys out so, so you can get your game started because I remember how frustrating it was when I first got the game. You know, it wasn't easy. And there weren't, there's hardly, any, oops, there's hardly any tutorials that are up to date. To actually do it you know so most of it was a guessing game when I first put the engine together it was a uh, I forgot the engine plate another time before that I forgot the old uh, clutch disc thing in the jig so yeah you know it's just nice to get started otherwise it can get frustrating and makes you want to not play the game you know but there's what one two three four five six seven bolts all done all right so get that tightened up nicely there before we proceed any further, grab this oil filter, throw it in the bin, and same to the battery, because they're broke, they don't work, especially the battery. If you're wiring your car and you're using that battery and you wonder why it's not working, there's your answer. This is why you buy a new one of each, okay? Throw them. They're useless. So, back to the car. Where are we? So we've done the drive gear, so if we rotate now, we'll work on the other side. Uh, so we've got to put this on, which goes there, and then we've got to line this up. So is this a size 11? You in the right one? Yep. Yeah. Right. So so 11, or is it 10? One of this uh the camshaft wheel, I think crankshaft wheel, which is the one I keep getting confused with. Right. So this line here, see it? That has to meet this line here. All right. You can, actually, you can see that one too. It's got to be in line with that. Alright, so just keep spinning all the way around. Are we too low? No, we're perfect. So just keep spinning all the way around. Nice and easy. And when you get close to it, just slow it down. Zoom in. There you go. Perfect. Look at that. We're in line. Perfect. So now we can put the uh, timing chain on. I like a saw. No bolts needed for that one, and now we want the cover. So if we go chuck that on. This, I believe, is a size 6. Yep. 1, 2, one, two 3, 4, 5, 6 bolts. Lovely jabby. So yeah, I think we get this bit done. Then we can get this on the old hoist. And then we go out and put the car together out there. We've already got the parts there. And um, we'll go from there. So now we want this. You can spray these parts. But um, this is just a tutorial. This is nothing to do with Season 3. Alright. Season 3, we will be live streaming that build this Friday. Alright, so don't worry. It's still going ahead. This is just for future, you know, because the live stream is going to be longer. This can be edited and shortened and done in order. 
So what do we want now? We can have the alternator. So chuck that on. There we go. So that's a size 7, a size 10, and a screwdriver, which we won't do until it's in the car because we need to adjust it with the alternator belt. All right, so get your size 7. This bolt here. And then a size 10. Around the back. And with the screw, we'll leave it till last when it's in the car, all right? Because we need to undo it for the wiring. Uh, I think we have to undo this. I don't know. This is why, you know, the tutorials, they take a while to do. And if when I, where I do them every six months, some things change. And then, you know, you don't know where you're at. So we need to get up. We can chuck this in just quick. Or not. All right, so we'll just wait. So what do we want next? Uh, water pump. So the water pump goes there. Also a size 6 or a size 7. I would say size 7. Yeah, look at that. Right, size 7 for the water pump. Also the same for the water pump spinny magic that goes on the end. Is there another one under there? No. Let's crouch down just to be sure. Yep, we're good. So let's go and grab the uh, pulley, chuck that on there, get that tightened up, lovely jubbly, four bolts, right there we go, so from there we can put the fan belt on, alternator belt, should be loose enough, there you go, and then what you want to do is, you want to scroll this, oh, Scroll this all the way to the end, as tight as it will go. And then scroll to. That's it. Alright. There we go. So you screw that. Grab your screwdriver. Get that tightened up. So it is number 7. So back in the car. You need to undo this bolt. We'll do that now. Do it with me. Alright. So Because otherwise you can't wire it up. So switch that to there. Undo that bolt. There we go. So now we can wire that up and it's ready to go. So what do we want from there? Um, where are we at? So this side's done. Right, so if we start at the top then, so we can put this on. The cylinder head. Like that. Get that done up. Is that size 7? Yep. So let's get that done up. 10 bolts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, now we can get this in. The old distributor. That's it. We won't tighten that up just yet because we're going to need to adjust it and tune it uh, when it's in the car and start it up. Along with the old rocker shaft which we're about to install. That's got to be tuned. And then we've got to tune the carb. So a lot of tuning. Every time I've done a bloody tutorial I've missed out the distributor. And everyone keeps having a go at me. So this time I'm going to bloody remember it. Alright. I want this to be the perfect tutorial yet. The last tutorial, the last successful tutorial, hit 200,000 views last month. So I'm hoping this one will do better. Right, size 8. There we go. So 5 bolts, is that? Yep, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Get that done out. So that's that done. I would say leave this off, but we need it on so we can tune. I mean, fill it up with oil. So, yeah, we've got to like put it on, fill it up with oil, take it off, tune it, put it back on again to go and do the inspection. So, yeah, six bolts, size seven. Oh, there we go. Did I get that one? Yep, yeah, got that one good. Got that one good. Right, what we got next? Um... Right, this is all going in the car. That's got to go on the engine. This has got to go on the engine. That's got to go on the engine. So we do the starter next. 
There we go. Um, only do one bolt up for now because the rest has got to be wired. So I believe it's a size six or a seven. Zoom in. There should be. If it's not this one, right, let's try a seven. There we go. So leave this one. There's one behind it. Do that one. All right. Leave that because we've got to wire it up to the battery. So that's that done. And then we do the carb. So let's turn it around. Um, there we go. And there's a Jonas having a fit. So let's do the carburetor. On you go. Size 8. That's it. One. There's another one there. Two. Three. And another one on the inside there. Four. Perfect. Now we'll leave the air filter till last because we've got to use we've got to be able to see what we're doing. Especially with the headers, which are next. On you go. Same bolt size, size eight. One, two, then there's one in the middle. Three. Four. Five. There we go. That's that done. Right, next, what we got? This, you can't wire to the engine no more. It has to be wired inside the engine bay. So we'll leave that and that'll be part of the engine. What have we got down the bottom? Um, that's also got to be wired inside the car. Right, so now we can do the oil filter. So if you just turn around again. Actually, one of them. The fuel pump. Yes, that's the one we want. The f yeah, so that can go on. So we do that now. I think that's a size six or a size eight. So we want the bolts. Right, size eight. No, I was wrong twice. Shocking. Seven. There we go. Right. Uh, now we can do. The oil filter. This one's easy. Just scroll it by hand. Scroll up. There we go. And then we do our spark plugs. Uh, one, two, three, four. Right, that go down there in the bin. Nice and easy. Just clock them in there. Two, three. And then we use a spark plug socket just there. Do them up. Make sure they're nice and tight, otherwise, you'll have engine issues. It won't stay idle. That's it. And then one more. Perfect. So then we can put the filter on. Two bolts, I believe, as a size five. Or a size six. There we go. Right. Uh, let's just double check everything. I believe I've got everything. Uh, that goes inside the car. That inside the car. In the engine bay. Engine bay. Engine bay. Engine bay. Inside the car. Inside the car. Engine bay. Engine bay. Right. Yeah. So that is your engine complete. All right. So now we quickly get that on the hoist. Grab it by the block. What way does it sit in a car? So if you look at a car, the filter is always at the back, right? So that's the way it's got to go in. There, so you just put that on there. We lower this. Wrong way. That's it. To about there. Then we just get it in line. About there. Where's that? No, it's got to come over more. There we go. Right, and then it's a size 10. Let's do them up. Let's go grab that. Get them tightened up nicely. Voila. And voila. So that's how you get it on the engine bay. Uh, engine hoist, rather. So now we're going to go and move on to the car. All right. Alright, so now we're going to talk about where the wheels, again I'll show you on the map where the locations are, so 
You've got these ones, which are located at the Haunted Mansion uh, in the attic. You can take the tractor, just drive into the doors, that will knock them down. If you haven't got the tractor and you're using something else, you can use the sledgehammer, which is located in the garage, to knock the doors down. Alright? And then you've got the GT rims, if you know where the Rusco is. Before, just as you enter that road to drive down to the Rusco shed, right, literally right on the entry of that road, if you look to your right, there's a shed. In that shed is a GT rims. On the GT rims, there are no tyres. So, it's going to cost you more because you're going to need to buy tyres. Whereas these, you have a chance of actually passing the inspection. And the way you can check that is by grabbing this ruler and just walking up to the wheels. And it'll tell you when it decides to bloody work. I have a try this one. No, you're not going to work today. I was working earlier. Let's put it away. Try again. There we go. 50% condition. Uh, 55. And we can go back around to this one. We have 53. And then we have 69. So, in my... From what I know, I believe they will pass inspection. Alright, so just check that and check. So with that said, let's get back to it. So we'll start off with uh, the sub frame. We get that put on. There we go. And then we'll just go to our spanner set, ratchet set rather. And is it a size 9? I really can't remember. No, it's size 10. There we go. Size 10, 4 bolts all around. Just crouch in there and you'll see another one just hiding somewhere at the back there. That's it. Then go around to the other side, do the same again. Like a saw. One. Do we have to crouch in? Can we see it from here? Yep, there we go. Two. Right, and then for, if we go back to the other side, it's always good to go to the other side wherever the uh, ratchet set is. Because you can change sizes. So we then want to chuck this on. There we go. And I think that's a size 9. No, that's a size 10 too. My bad. I'm sorry. This is why I have all the actual sizes on top. On the screen. You know, I can't always get them right. And then just go to the other side, do the same thing. That's it. Ignore the banging and crashing. It's my summer car. There we go. And then two. And then we can then put on the spindle. And this is a, I can't remember what size this was. Ah, size 12. There we go, right there. And then we go to the other side. The spindle thingamajig. And the bolt is just there underneath. Get that done up. It's just one bolt, nice and easy. And then we will put the brake discs on. It will go on eventually. There we go. So that one. And then this one. And then you are, before you do that bolt up, you want to put your half shafts in. So it goes in this way. Right there. And then do the other side. Like that, and they are size 14, I believe. Or size 15. They're size 15, they're the biggest bolts in the game, aren't they? No, they are size 14. There we go, I wasn't close enough. Right, and a size 9 for the half shafts on the inside of the car. You can do them up now rather than later so you don't forget. I always do, it's never caused me any problems. So there's 6 bolts in total. Free this side, free that side. There we go. Right, that's that done. And now we will do the steering rack. And it goes somewhere along here. Right, if we get a bit of distance on it, like that. There we go. Uh, size 8. No, size 9. Yeah, there we go, size 9. 
We can should be able to reach these from this side. There we go. Right, and then we want to get the suspension struts on. So it's a size 9 at the bottom. I think it's 4 bolts. And then size 10 at the top. Is it that way? What one we got? I picked up the wrong one again. Now do them up as quickly as you can because that banging and crashing can get very annoying. When it lets you bloody get the bolt. There we go. One, two, three, four. And then do the other side. Now stop it from bouncing. Come on, on you go. You know you wanna. There we go. Then just get them done up. One. Two, yep, done up. Three. Four, and then just go grab your size 10. And put that up the top there. Crouch down. Oh, no, no, just zoom in. Three bolts each side. Total of six. Come on, what are you doing? Highlight. That's it. There we go. And the other side. One, two, three. That's it. We just crouch down. We can now put our steering rods in. So this is front left. So I think I put everything on the right side. And that just connects there. I think that's a size 12. I uh -huh. can't remember though. Yep, there we go. So that's that one. Then just go and grab it the other side and do that too. And there we go. Size 12, get that done up. Coming along lovely now. So that's your front end put in basically. And then if we quickly go and do the back, then we can go and get the jacks and put them up. So one, two, go grab the uh, ratchet set, get them done up. That's it, lovely. And then once we've got them on the wheels, we can do the uh, wheel alignment. That's what I wanted to say. Right, is this a size 9, same as the front? It's crouching, can't see the bolts. No, size 12. Oh, size 12 again. There we go, then go do the other side up. Two bolts each size, each side rather. That's it, one, two. And then we can put our springs in. There we go, that'll raise it up a bit. Nice big bangs, that means you successfully installed them. And then put your shock absorbers in. Lovely jubbly. We had to tick. Give it back. Oh, you cock. Come on. There we go. Right. Can't remember what it is at the bottom, but I know it's a size 11 or 12 at the top. So if we get 12, do the top up first. Follow it up. There we go. One. Follow it up. Two. Nice and easy. And then we can concentrate on the bottoms, which possibly could be... I think it's a low number. Yeah, size six. Two bolts. One. There you go. Two. One. Is that the closest one? Oh, we got a further one. Is that it? Two. Yep, there we go. Then we can put our brake discs on. Or drum brakes, rather. Lovely jubbly. Again, size 14. Was it 14? It was 14, wasn't it? There we go. 
And now we're ready to jack her up and put the wheels on. So if we go and get the car jack, put this away quick. I think it's right by the door. Yep, there we go. So if we do the front first, whoops. That's it, place you there, jack you up. Nice and squeaky. That's it, she's up high enough. So we just go and chuck the first wheel on. One. Two, size 13. Four bolts each wheel. One, two, three, four. It really doesn't matter what uh, order you do them up in. There we go, that's the front end done, so we can now lower it. There we go, and then we gotta do the back there. Lovely jubbly, let's get that jacked up. There we go, and then we just check that on. One. Two, and then same again. Four bolts, size 13. There we go. And the same on the other side there. Wicked. Right, so that's the car put together. All the bolts done up. That's all the suspension rather. Now, we need to do the wheel alignment. Alright, so what you need to do is grab yourself a size 14 spanner. Won't work with a ratchet set. There's a bolt in here somewhere. Uh, it's this one here. So what you want to do is, it doesn't matter what way you scroll, but whatever way you do scroll, you have to scroll the opposite. Actually, we'll start again. Scroll whatever way you want. One way, choose what way you're going. And keep scrolling. So we do that now. Right. So we're going to keep going until the wheel stops moving. Which looks like it has. Or am I moving? Let's have a look. My controller. It's weird. When it's connected through Steam. Right, yeah. So that one stops moving, right? So once you've once you stopped moving, you want to do the do it up in the opposite direction 60 times. Alright? So I'm going to do this. You can do yours. So count. Make sure you get it right. Don't miss a click. All right, so if you uh, if you pause the video, you're back now, so we're all done. So that's all your wheels aligned. So now we're gonna start by putting everything in the engine bay. So we're gonna start off with the brakes because there's a lot of bolts to be done up on that. So the brake lining, if we grab that first. We should be able to just crouch down here, get some reach and install. We then want to, again, we need the spanner. I think it's a size 7. Yep, so if we get all these done up. So, one. Two. Oh, crouch down again. One there, if we can just reach it, free. And then we go over to this side. Four. Five. Is there one up there? Yep, six. Don't think there's one there. No, then there's this one, seven. Then we've got the brake ones, eight. Then this side. That's it. We just got stuck there. Nine. Then we go around the back. It's uh, somewhere around there. Uh, where did it run? Run somewhere. Is that it? Let's have a look. Make sure we're getting the right bolts. Yep, 10. Just follow it just to make sure. Yep, 
Then 11 over there. And I believe 12 is the uh, the handbrake. So we haven't got that on yet, so we can leave that. So now what we'll do is, is the clutch. So if we just go grab that, which is on the floor over here. Lovely jubbly. The clutch. No, that's the gear linkage. We don't need that, my bad. Not just yet, anyway. It's over here. So just lean in. That's it. And then we can uh, get them bolts done up. We just lean in. There we go. So where is it? There. One. Amazing. Two. I think that's it for the clutch. Just them two there. So we follow that over there. And then it runs around into there. Back over here, up here, and that's the one we just did up. So now we go and get the actual stuff that we're going to need to fill up. So we got one here, the brake master cylinder. There we go. What size is that? Is that size 7 or size 8? Let's try size 8. We can actually use the uh, ratchet set now. There we go. Lovely. One. Two. And then we go and get the clutch master cylinder. Which is over here. And then get that done up. One, I think there's another one at the bottom there. Yep, two. And then we've got to quickly go inside the car and onto the pedals. Where there's a couple more bolts we need to get, just there. Is it the same size? No, I've forgotten what size these are. Nine, there we go. Size nine, just get them done up. Perfect. Right, that's that done. And then we're going to get our wiring shit. This stuff, uh, the electrics, which goes somewhere along this side there. Uh, I believe that's a size eight, I think. We just crouch down, number two, size eight. There we are. Yep, there we go, so get them tightened up nicely. And then go back again. And we want now this thing down here. The fuel strainer. This one's a tricky one to find. Somewhere along here. There we go. Again, size 8. I think it's just the one bolt for this one. Yep, just in the middle there. That's it. There's no bolts on the end, is there? No, nope. right, we're good. Then after that, we can do the radiator and get that installed. Nice and easy. I think it's size 7. Yep, there we go. Four bolts. One. Two. Three. We've got one at the bottom there somewhere. Four. There we go. So that's that done. We can't put uh, the hoses on until the engine is in. So we'll leave that for now. What else goes inside the car? Uh, we can put this on. So grab your fuel tank pipe. Just get that installed. And then we will uh, lower the car and push it inside the garage for the final procedure. So, when we get a hand, there we go. We can just leave that there. We've got to straighten it up a bit now. And if we just push it over. Perfect. Then just a bit more this side. 
Like that, should do. And in you go. Just roll it in. Right, that'll do. So now we can work underneath the car. So grab your exhaust. We'll get that belt, uh, mount, mounted in now. Size 7. Gotta grab our ratchet set too. Actually, no, we don't. It's on top of the car. There we go. Perfect. So just grab that. Tool mode. I think we've already got size 7. So we're good. Uh, one bolt. There we go. And then we go underneath the car and put the uh, exhaust system thing on. That's it. Should be the right way. So just stand up. Try and get it in place. Oh, there we go. Size 7, three bolts. Uh, one in the middle there, sort of. One at the back, and then two at the front. That's it. One. Two. Perfect. Right, so that's that done. Now we go and get the actual fuel tank itself. Chuck that on there. If we go and grab this, because there's a, uh, I think it's a size 10 or a size 12 that we need to do. Otherwise, we're going to have a fuel leak, and we don't want a fuel leak. If I can just get down the stairs. Uh, we'll try with a size 12 first. It is just there. There we go. So just get that done up there. Perfect. And then we can go back to the old ratchet set. Jump up there, put this away. That's it, and then just go back into tool mode. Uh, we we'll start with the size six. No, size size eleven. There we go, size eleven. Get that done up there. I think it's only seven bolts. Four at the front there, and three at the back. One, two, three. There we go. Uh, so we've got the fuel tank on. If we get the gear linkage in, which is underneath the car, which is also a size five. So if you grab that now, and then we can work our way underneath the car. There we go. Oh, we just had it. There we go. So get them bolts done up. One. Where's the other two? There they are. Two. Three. Yep, perfect. So that's the gear linkage. Now we will do the handbrake. Uh, so we want... Where are you? You're at the side, there you are. Let's crouch down, pick you up. Wait, wait, we got it this way, so we go here. Drop it. There we go. If we could go underneath the car and tighten it up there, I think it's a size 5 or a size 7. And it meets here. Oh, it's a size 5 too, so there you go. That's that done. And we're tightening it up inside the car. Which is size seven. Oh, probably better take the ratchet set with us. Probably a size six. There we go. Right, then this an eight. There we go. Size eight. Two. Three, four. So let's get that done up now so it doesn't move anywhere else. We then want to put the gear stick in. I've got the GT Center console, but you can you can use this or you can just use the one over there. It's all, it's all the same. They both fit, use the same bolts. Let's get that installed there. This is a smaller bolt size and they're harder to find. So, so six. There we go. One, two, then one at the back somewhere there. Three. 
There we go, so that's that done. What else have we got to put in the car itself? Um, we'll go to the bottom there. So it's the radiator hoses, which we don't need to do yet. We've got the mud flaps, we've got the lights that we need to do, which will be a part of the uh, wiring, so we don't need to do these just yet. Can't install these until the wiring's done. So, I guess we can start putting the body on quick. So we'll start off with the boot lid. There we go, let's open it up. I think it's a size 6. What size we got on this? Where's the ratchet set? It's in the car, isn't it? We've got to get it out again. Nope, it's not in the car. Where did I put it? Over here. Is it size 6 or size 8? Size 6. There we go. Let's get that done. Four bolts. There we go, perfect. And then we can put the booty, booty, the bumper on, rear bumper, bumper front, bumper back. There we go, size eight. Whoops. That's it. Two bolts. That's, there's one. Let me just find the other one there. There's two. Right, so that's set done. Perfect, and so then we can do the doors. What door we got here? Yeah? Set that one, then take this one around the other side, get that on. Size 10, four bolts, whoops. That's it. One, two, three, four. One, two. Is that all the box, really? Three, four. All right, once you've got that done, we can then do the fenders, which are down the back here. That's it, lovely. And this one. Can we get you one like that? No, didn't think so. That's it, size five, five bolts. One, two, well, ten bolts, but five each side. Three, four, five. That's it, then just do the same the other side there. And I think after that we'll be ready to install the engine and get the wiring done. Right, is that that done? Uh, we've got the front bumper. Oh, we just had it there. You're a bastard. You really are. Look, just get on there. There you go. Size 8, same as the back. There we go. One. Two. There we go. Perfect. Right. So, what do we got now? We've got the pipes. Uh, we've got the hood. No point putting that on yet. Uh, we've got the grill. Oh, we've got the steering rack. We'll do inside the car quick. So, what way does this go on? This way, there's the ignition. So we get that in. Then we can put the seats in quick. So it goes that way. In there. Perfect. 
Uh, there's two, I think there's a bolt that's on the other side of it. So if we quickly go and grab this, might be a size 8, might be a size 9. So I'll try the size 8 first, seeing as we've already got it. Yep, there we go, size 8. That's that done. And then we will do the seat. So this is passenger. So if we take this around here. There we go, size nine. Actually, if we get the other ones in this side in too, the driver's seat. That's it. Then uh, get the ratchet set. Size nine. Four bolts. Tricky to find. One. Follow the line. Two. Three. Four. There we go, and then same again. Come on, where are you, piece of shit? One. In front of the line, you're here somewhere. Two. There we go. We got it. Right. Then we can just uh, do that and go and grab the rear seats. Just there. And that's it. Two bolts. Size nine. Easy. Right. And then uh, now we can work on the dashboard and getting everything put together so let's quickly pick up our ratchet set and bring that over here we're going to need our rev gauge we're going to want this quick and then if we just chuck that in I think we can put it in this way so we'll let's see yep and then it's a size 7 is it? I think it's a pretty big bolt yep there we go one two and then we pick up our dashboard bring it over here quick that's it and then just go slot you in come on we just had it there we go right let's go and get our ratchet set think the, the dashboard is a size 10 whoops so number 2 Size 10, yep, one, and one in here, two, and then we can uh, go and grab the dashboard meters, that's it, put you in there, come on, there we go, we got the tick, and is it a size? Six for the insides. Yeah, size six. Right, and now we want our steering wheel. So we can close that up now, that's done. Nothing special, just a stock steering wheel. Let's just get you done up there. Then we can put you on. Size 10 again. And that's the steering wheel done. And now I believe we are ready to put the engine in. But before we do that, if we could just quickly put the mud flaps on. So front right, which is the other side. Front left. Rear left. Then the rear right. Then there's your mud flaps on. Perfect, right, now we need to get this in the car. 
Uh, can we go any higher than that? No, that's as high as it goes. Right, we're going to need to push it forward just a little bit more. Let's release that handbrake. We'll push it over. Otherwise, the uh, door's going to get caught on the desk. Is it not too much, just like that. Then same this one. Perfect. And then push it down a bit. Perfect. Right, that should do it. Yep, right, now we want to get in, put the handbrake on, get the ratchet set out, close it, and then get the engine in line. So just grab this, be really slow and careful with it, otherwise it'll fling your engine across the map, and you don't really want that. So there we go, just make sure it's lined up nicely. Just check that there, start lowering it a bit. Uh, we can go forward a bit more. That's it. And then bring it down. Come on. What are you doing? That's it. About there. And then you want to grab yourselves a size 11. Crouch down and see if you've got your bolts. Bolts, yep, there we go. And then it's going to hook on three bolts. Can we get that side? We can. Two, and then one at the back. Three. There we go. We're all hooked, ready for wiring. So we didn't need a number 10 to unhook the hoist from the engine. That's it. Push that one. Get closer. Come on, give me the bolt. There we go. One. And then, where's the other one? Somewhere along here. Two. There we go. Then we should be able to just raise this up, pull it back. That's it, that'll do. Right, now we're ready for wiring. The wiring part of the tutorial. Here we go. So you want to get some distance on it, just nice and easy. Hopefully, everything's disconnected, like we said. So we'll start off with, we've got to put the battery in. So grab your battery, your nice brand new battery that you bought from the shop. Slot that in there, and we're good to go. Where did we put the wire mess? Did we just drop it on the floor? I'm pretty sure we put it on there. There it is, right, it's good. So, if we start from here, you push F every time you get a check, okay? So, positive terminal, one. We're going to take it down to... There, we're going to come back up, and we're going to come here to the negative terminal. There we go. So we've got our first wiring done, and that one is, yep, so there's one at the end, just at the end of the starter, you can see it. We can't really get it. There we go, starter, up to here, then over to... The ignition coil then over to the back there we can just get there there we go so where are we running now so we've got that run into there positive terminal I know that goes there there we go so the positive terminals run in there yeah so that goes into the back, perfect, and then we need to get one running, I can't remember if it was the regulator, no the regulator goes to the alternator doesn't it? Just follow everything I do, and you will get your car wired, I promise. So we go into the alternator here, there we go, so that's that all, all uh, wired up. Then we need this, to go to here don't we? One of these. No, it might be the other end there. Was that right? Where did that go? So, yeah, right, so there you go. See, so it run from the, the regulator back to the car. So now we need another one from here, I think. To run to here. Does that correct? So that wire runs all the way up to there. Yes, there we go. So now we do the lights, the headlights. One there. To there, 
and then up to here because it's got to be go to the switch. Fuse box. Come on, why aren't you wiring up? You normally do. What did I, what did I miss? Right, I think we're good. Right, so we did a radiator. There we go. So the radiator runs on that wire there all the way around, it looks like. Yep, so it's that wire there up to there. So let's grab that one. The main harness for the lights. We'll have to have a check. What was that? Ah, there we go. It's that light connector there. There we go. See it? This is why I left the grill off. I remember now. Just here, there's a little box. That's where the lights wire up to. So we do that one. To the lights connector. I think we got the lights connector connected to the main harness. Can't see it. Where? Right, so it's there underneath the battery. If we can just get a look at the battery. Can we look underneath? No, nothing running there. So we want to get this one. Running up to here. There we go. So now that should be connected and running underneath. Which it looks like it is, yeah. See the wire? Closest to the thingy. So we got that done. I think that's everything for the car. So before we move inside the car, let's get the bolts tightened up. So get your ratchet set. We'll start off with the alternator. Size 7. Uh, do up mode. So there we go. So that's that one done. And then we've got to get the starter. We've got a size 5. So that's as low as we can go, yeah. Which is over there. Size 5. And then it's a size 7, wasn't it? Yep, size 7 for that one. So that's all that tightened up. Is it? Yeah. We don't do the battery till last, otherwise we get electrocuted. So now we're moving inside the car. Whoops. There we go. Right, let's grab our wire mess. So, ignition. Over to either the fuse box, which looks like it was. Yep, the wire's running. And then we've got to get this plugged in. So we need to get our other gauges done. So we've got the extra gauges. And then we've got the air fuel ratio. And now we can wire all that up. So if we do that all the way to the main harness, I think it goes the same for this one. Yep. So we've got two plugged in there and then we've got to do the actual thing itself, which is the instrument panel. If it doesn't go to that one, then it'll go to this other plug over there. And then over is it to the fuse box, or to, is there another? Yes, yeah, the fuse box. There we go. So, what do we what we got wired up now? So, it looks like we've got the instrument panel wired. One, two. We haven't. I don't know if this is wired. Let's have a look. There was something else there. Dash harness connector. Where's the bloody fuse box in this thing? Right, so I think we've got everything wired then, because this is the stereo. Then this will run to the amp. Uh, the fuel tank, I think. Let's go and wire up the fuel tank. 
and we've got to put the brake lights in so we can get them wired up. So let's quickly do that. So left. Wiring's the trickiest part, you know, because I've never memorized it. You know, I, I do it this way and it always works for me. So if you actually follow it, then you should be fine yourself too. So we've got this. There's that. So if we run that to there, then again. Oh. Why do I have to get stuck down here all the time? Seriously, we get stuck in a concrete, I swear. Yeah, and then we've got one more which goes to the fuel tank. So just grab that. And now we've got to find a fuel tank. Somewhere along there. Oh, there we go. So now that's wired. And that should run down there. If we put our radio in, then we can see what's missing. That's it, just get you in. Grab the wiring mess. Grab the wiring mess. So there we go. And we just double check everything. I'm pretty sure we're actually good to go. So we've got all of this wired up. We can, so the other one now I believe would be for the nitrous gauge. We can check. Actually we've got a light to do. Light switch. Which will go. There. There we go. And then was that the light switch or was that wipers? Right, so that was the light switch. Let's just check everything else. We've got hazards, instrument panel 2. Which I'm guessing, because that one's full up now, would be radio harness. If not... The fuse box. There we go. So what we've got wired now, is that everything? So we've got the radio, which goes to the radio harness somewhere. Where was it again? I think we just had it, didn't we? There we go. So that's the radio in, then the rest would be the speakers and the amp. So let's just quickly check our... Yeah, they don't need wiring. The radio's done, instrument panel's done. That's done, lights are done, wipers, yeah, all done. So I think we're good to go for the wiring now. That'd be radio, uh, the speakers and the amplifier, the subwoofer stuff. So yeah, I think what we do now is uh, we'll start putting the fluids in. Let's shut that door. Whoops. Don't know what happened there. Broke something off. Let's have a look. I think we're good. I think we got away with it. Right, so we want to do our fluids. So first things first, we do the clutch and brake. So one, two. Come on, three. Perfect. And then you just grab this. Tilt it and start filling up. That's one empty bottle. See, it goes so quick. Then two. We're not leaking, are we? No, I don't think we are. Did we, we did get all the bolts this time. That's just empty, yeah? Yeah. So brake fluid. No, nope, we're leaking somewhere. I don't think we are. Yeah, no, if it was leaking that fast, that would have been it. Let's just quickly try again. Yep, yeah, no, we're good. Three and a half bottles. Yep, yeah, that's about right. So let's do that up. Two. Three. Right, if we quickly get the pipes on before... We do the radiator coolant stuff, otherwise we will be leaking that stuff. So 
So this one goes in the bottom somewhere. I'm sure of it. Why are you being a douche? Come on. There we go. One. Two. One more. There, three. Right, now you want to grab your screwdriver. And we'll start tightening up them bolts. So just lean in there. We got this one here. That's it. Then we got another one this end. Just follow it all the way around. There's a connection on each one. There we go. That's it. Then this one. There's none on this one, as, it, as you can see, that, that's part of that, and it clips into that. And then we just get the last one down here. And that's all that done. So now we can start filling up the coolant. <sighs> it's actually quite warm today, so, you know, with the PC on and everything, can't have the fan on because it'd be too noisy for the uh, mic. So, yeah. But we're nearly at the end now. Right, that's that done, so we can put that back, put the cap on. Jubby jubby. And then undo this one, we can start putting the oil in. This one. Right, that's that one done. So we put that back there, get the cap done up. Then if we quickly get our lights set up now. Um, we can leave that there. So, two bulbs. Do that. Move you. Grab you. Put you in there. Same again. In there. So, this is left. And this is right. Get them in. And then we can uh, tighten these up. And then we can get our battery done up. And then we can go see if actually, then we got to put gas in the car. Then we can see if she starts. Right, is this uh, so it's six or seven? Seven. There we go, size seven for your lights. There we go. And yeah, let's go and put gas in the tank quick. This should give you a good half a tank of fuel if you filled it up. There we go. And it, in it goes. Right, that's that done. And then we can throw that away. Um, yeah, I think we're pretty good. Let's just straighten this out one more time. Just so it's going to be easy to reverse out when we go to inspection. So we need a size 8 now because we're going to tighten up the battery. Now the order I think it is. Oh, that's what come out. The battery. There we go. So the order I think it is, is this one. So we get closer. Where's the stupid bolt? What, did it not go in again? What's going on here? Right, look, come on. Is that bolt done up? No, it's not. There we go. Right, let's try this again. Did I pick up a size 8? No, I picked... Oh my god. Why have I been picking up the wrong sizes? All tutorial, man. Seriously. So it goes this order. That one. Then... Then this one. Really? Right, there we go. If you do it the opposite, you'll get electrocuted. Alright, so I think we're ready to go and see if the car starts. The moment of truth. So, here we go. We have power. That's a good sign. It's out of gear. Yep, right. 
Let's go. And she's starting. She needs tuning. So let's go grab our steer. Uh, what do you call it? Not steering wheel. Twat. Screwdriver. Uh, crouch down. Screwdriver. So if we start with the carb. Uh, we got to let it warm up first. So let's pull the choke out. And I'll see you in a minute when she's warm. All right, she's pretty much warm now. Just a quickie, if you've gone to start your car and it's not starting, go and do your distributor up. Just tighten that screw up, and um, yeah, she'll start straight away. All right, uh, that's been a problem before. So yeah, and then we could, I mean, it's stupid. You have to screw it in for the first time for it to register as an installed so as on the engine. But um, yeah, then again, you can unscrew it after that and we can tune it in. But she's warm now, so let's put a choke in and see where she's sitting at. So not bad actually, we want it around 14.7.15, so we can leave that, but if you wasn't good, then uh, all you do is you lean in, you find the screw, you scroll in, scroll up, so what's scroll up do? Scroll up, takes it up, and scrolling down, takes it down, so we're going to scroll down, yeah, that there is good for us, so we should pass inspection with that. So if we now go and do the distributor next, so just lean in, undo it, there we go, and then we want to just scroll it all the way to, yeah, all to scroll down all the way until it does that, then scroll up until it stops. Some point today, there we go. Is that it? Let's scroll that way. Right, there's perfect. Let's get our screwdriver and just tighten that back up. And now we need a size 7. Uh, there we go, size 7. If we take off this, so we got, uh, we need to do that and that one. Two, three, four, five, six. There we go. So just take that off. Put you over there and then grab the screwdriver. Is it a screwdriver? It is, isn't it? Yeah. And now we're going to tune each one of these. Right, so we're gonna do it over here. Start from the top. One, one, two. And then scroll down. That's it. One, two. Then same here. Scroll down. That's it. One, two. Scroll down. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Scroll up two, yeah? One, two. So scroll down until it starts tapping. Then scroll up two. We've got one more to do. There's the tap. So scroll up. One, two. And that's it, that's all of it done, that's the tuning. So now all that's left is inspection. So we're gonna have to go sleep, and um, yeah. Now we could get this put back on, just top her up with some oil, because she would have lost some now. So just grab your size seven. One, two, three. Yep, that's it. Let me just go a bit closer. It's there somewhere. There you go. 
No, this ain't gonna do that way either. Let's go around this way then. There we go. And then you can just top her up with oil. And then, um, yeah, depends on what time it is for you. Um, yeah, but I'd, uh, I'm going to quickly sleep till the morning. And then I will see you bright and early for inspection. Alright guys, so I'll see you in a minute. Alright, so, if we've got a couple of bits we've got to do in the car quick. First thing, we need to move this out of the way. That's it. And then you just need to grab this triangle, because this is a uh, required thing to pass inspection. So just chuck that in the back there. We need to put our grill on. That's it, just get that on. Do this as quickly as possible. Uh, oops, uh, yep, that one. So that was a size 6, I believe it's the same to put the hood on. So let's go and do that. Let's drop you there. That's it. Then just open you up. And I've got to do this again live from Friday's stream, which will be quite fun actually. We'll see uh, if I, how much I remember from today. Alright, so I look forward to seeing you there hopefully, and um, yeah, we'll just chill out. Friday night, first live stream of a live build of the Satsuma. Right, there we go, that's that done. So I think we're pretty much about ready to go for inspection. We'll see if we can pass. We should be pretty tuned. Um, we'll take everything just in case something's wrong. I'm not sure if we need the back shelf. I don't know if it's a, a legal requirement these days. But uh, we'll put it on anyway. If we can just get it there. There we go. Right, that's it. So, yeah. We'll quickly uh, take the first bit of drive together. See if she drives smoothly and okay. And then um, I'll take the rest of the drive. And I will see you there. I think we've got everything. Let's start you up. Right, she's got a warm up, but she's uh, pretty good to go. So, seatbelt on, check, power brake down. Uh, let's chuck you in reverse. Right, so far so good. She's not steering or anything. Right, let's mind that ditch. inspection on the first try. We've got everything we need. We've got our triangle in the back. Uh, we've tuned it pretty much how it needs to be tuned to be economy, econo, economy, or whatever, friendly. And uh, yeah, so all it is now is just seeing if we pass. Hopefully the tyres are good enough. One of them was 51% and I don't know if it's on the front or the back because we did a couple of wheel spins because we stalled it and nearly crashed and died. Right, but we're on the left. So let's shut her off. And, yep, there we go. Do that. Handbrake on, check. You, triangle is in. Yep, there it is. Right, we're good. Let's go pay for it. Come on, baby. Right, now we wait. Tähän valmis paalattavaksi. Ei, ei, ei tällaista kannata enää edes korjata. What do we fail on? Body? Tires. Ah, so you can't use them tires. But, if you change them, you're good to go. Alright. And, uh, that is the only thing, isn't it? Yeah, just the tires. So just take them to Fritari's and get the new 
just the cheapest wheel road tyres you can get and you'll be good to go. Alright, but um, I hope this tutorial helped you out and uh, yeah, hopefully I didn't miss anything this time. We actually tuned the distributor, so hopefully all is good. Alright, if you liked it and it helped you out, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel and you want to see what season 3 is about, the healthy living, then uh, make sure you subscribe, hit the notifications bell so you don't miss out on an episode. As always, thank you for watching. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh.